Hello, this is Kai, and welcome to another video in our How to Use the Terminal series. So, in previous videos, we were talking about the chmod command, and we were sort of using it and messing around, but in this video, we're really going to get dirty with it, and we're going to actually start using it and applying it. So, before we go ahead and start doing that, I'm going to just really quickly show you what the numbers mean. So, the permission types here when we chmod something, I'll start by doing our command space and then typing in terminal and then just for illustration I'll go to the file that we'll be chmodding today let me just quickly um, print my current directory I'm gonna go back CD a couple and then CD into applications I just happen to already know the directory that I'm working with right now and then CD to HT docs and so the file that I'm going to be chmodding, I will zoom in a little bit here so you can see, is this permission types, there we go, is this, um, I'll do ls-l to see the files in here with their permission types, is this index.html file. And I'll show you what it looks like in just a second, but for now I'm just going to mess around and sort of illustrate these numbers here. So right now we're going to go ahead and just add up numbers and just see what that means. We have RWX on this first permission type right here, which is for me, the owner. So if we add up numbers 4, 2, and 1, 7, that means that it has full permission types. Because look, the R indicates that we can read this file. That W means that we can write to this file. And that X means that we can execute this file. And then if we move over to the next group of three, we see that they only have a W present, which means that the number given to that must have been a two, because four is read, and one is execute, and two is write. And since there's only a W in these three um, dashes here, then that means that it's a two. And then similarly, this one, or sorry, this R right here, this little lone R means that this has a number of 4 because we see that the permission type 4 corresponds to the read type. So let's start messing around with this a little bit by doing sudo and we can give everything its own numbers. So if we want people to only be able to uh, read this file and that's it to never alter it in any other way then we'll go ahead and do sudo, do the chmod command to change the permission types, and then do 444, four, four, and then type in the file name. And of course, we could have just typed, we could type in the whole path if we weren't in the current directory, but since we're in this directory and this file's in the directory, we're just going to go ahead and type it like this. Click enter, and then I'll do another ls l command to see the current updated file permissions. And we see that every file in here can read only. Now, if I wanted to change it so that I, as the owner, let's see, we'll do a sudo command, which means we're running this in um, sort of like administrator mode. Do sudo ch mod. And then I will type in the number I want to do. If I, as the owner, only want to be able to execute this, which means we'll type in a 1. I want the group to be able to both read and write to this, so I'll do 6. And then lastly, I'll do everybody. I only want them to be able to write to it for some reason. That's a really bad thing. <laughs> Anyways, I'm going to do sudo chmod that. And then I'm going to type in the file name, which is index.html. And then do another ls-l to view the permission types. And we see how they've changed. These three, since we gave it a one, I'll pull the commands up right here. We gave it a one, as we see here, the numbers. We see that we're only able to execute. And we it makes sense since the permission type one means execute. Six, we said that we wanted it to be able to read and write. So we'll look at the next group of three, the next little cluster. And we see that they can read and write. Well, we gave them 6, read and write is 4 and 2, adds up to 6, makes sense. And then lastly, we gave them 2, which is write only, and we see that it has a W. 
for now, I'm going to open up this file and show you how it affects how it affects um how it affects the server. Sorry about that. So, I'm going to run an Apache server real quick. It's running already. I see that. I'm going to open up a virtual machine so I can emulate going onto this site from a different computer, but first I need to know the IP address of the host of the site, which is me right now. So I will run this command. This is a new one for us called ifconfig. And if you were on a Linux um, operating system, you can do ipconfig in your terminal and it'll do the same thing. And I'm going to look up my... Um, I'm going to look at my current IP address right here. 192.168.166. That's a private IP address. So I'm going to zoom out. So again, that's the IP address of this Mac operating system that is hosting the um, index.html page that we're looking for. So I'm going back to my virtual machine. And I'm going to type in that URL right here, and I'm going to try to go to that website. But I see that it's access forbidden. You don't have permission to access this directory. It's an HTML file, so we need to be able to read this file. And since we gave everybody the permission type, go ahead and clear that. If we look back to what we chmodded, I think we chmodded it 444, so that means that everybody can only write to this file. Uh, well, that's not really what we want to do since we need to be able to read this file. Let's instead give everybody for now different permission and give them full permission type. So since everybody on the web can read, write, and execute this file, we should be able to read this file. So let me reload. And now we see that we indeed can read this file because we have changed the permission type. So I'm going to conclude this tutorial. We went over how to chmod your files what the different um, numbers demarcate and then also we kind of applied it to a website that we were hosting off our Apache server. Alright everybody thank you for watching make sure to like and subscribe